Welcome to section 10 of immunodeficiencies. In this section, we'll be discussing hyper IgM syndrome. Let's get started. This scene will take place inside of someone's home during the Christmas season. We can see a bunch of snowflakes outside the window that are shaped like an IgM molecule. We've also included a hyper dog that is covered in these snowflakes because it just came from outside. Anyway, the IgM shaped snowflake along with the hyper dog should help you remember that this image is all about hyper IgM syndrome. This is a B and T cell disorder. So to help you remember this, we've shown an excited kid who just got a new video game for Christmas. If you look on the TV, we can see that there is a soldier with a T-shaped flail and an archer fighting some mummies. By now, you should hopefully know that this is our symbol for B cells and T cells. So hyper IgM syndrome is a B and T cell disorder. We can also see that this video game is taking place inside of a crypt with dust spores spewing out all over the place. We introduced this symbol in our microbiology videos, but recall that this represents cryptosporidium. So patients with this disorder are at an increased risk of opportunistic infections with cryptosporidium. Now we've added a Christmas tree along with a few more presents to go along with this Christmas theme. One of the presents is a Superman action hero figure. Recall that superheroes are a symbol for pneumocystis girovecci because the word hero sounds like Hirovecci or Girovecci. So patients with this disorder are at an increased risk of developing opportunistic infections with pneumocystis Girovecci. The other action figure is a Megatronics Transformer figure, which we introduced in our CMV video. Recall that Megatronics sounds like cytomegalovirus, so it's our symbol for CMV. So these patients also have an increased risk of infections with CMV. Now look closely at the Christmas tree. That's right, it has an X on top of the tree, and this is here to help you remember that hyper IgM syndrome is an X-linked recessive disorder. All right, now let's shift our attention towards the kitchen area. As you can see, we've shown a woman here trying to turn the lights on, but there appears to be a problem, which is why they've asked an electrician helper guy to come check out the problem. The electrician helper guy will be our symbol for T helper cells. Notice that the husband is trying to pay this guy two $20 bills. Together, this equals 40 and should make you think of CD40 ligand. So this along with the helper guy should help you remember that this disorder is most commonly due to defective CD40 ligand on T helper cells. The woman touching the light switch should help you think of class switching. If we zoom up, we can see that there is a crack in this switch, which alludes to the idea that class switching is impaired. So hyper IgM syndrome results in defective class switching. To go along with defective class switching, let's turn our attention to the dog again. As you can see, the hyper dog is eating up this stocking, and now we can only see remnants left behind, which now resembles a net. Remember, the net with beads on it like this is our symbol for the lymphatic system. So the fact that it's getting destroyed should help you remember that there is a defect in the lymphatic system. More specifically, there is failure to make germinal centers in lymph nodes. If you've watched our video on B cells, this should make intuitive sense to you. B cells cannot mature, so both class switching and somatic hypermutation are defective. Recall that both of these events occur in the germinal centers. All right, now we've added a pie on the counter, and this is here to help you think of pyogenic infections. So these patients may present with severe pyogenic infections early in life. The last addition to the image is this sad boy. The only thing he wanted for Christmas was a toy bow with arrows. But when he opened his present, he discovered that his arrows were broken. Poor kid. Anyway, the arrows represent antibodies, and the fact that they're broken should help you remember that immunoglobulins of all classes are decreased, except for IgM, of course, because this is hyper-IgM syndrome. Again, this should be very intuitive if you understand how B cells work. All right, that should be everything you need to know about hyper-IgM syndrome.